So, thing is, is that we were meant to do this Q&A video right here last week. Unfortunately, someone forgot to print out the uh, Q&A spreadsheet. Is that right, Tico? Yeah. Anyway, but we've got them now. So this Q&A is to celebrate, well, to mark 50 train venture episodes. The first one was back in September 2021. From the 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th as a four-parter covering the Snow Hill Network. But uh, yeah, three years on and we're on episode 50. Wow, episode 50 was done last week but you would have seen it by now. But um, let's get on with the questions shall we? So the first uh, couple of questions are from Arnold Spotting Videos and they asked how do you feel about how do you feel about travelling on 150 one? Um it's more of a it's more of a, of a uh, relief. It, it keeps me uh, keeps me calm. It's always happy to be on Beloved as well. It just I don't know, it just takes me it take it just the world stops and I get to just enjoy my time on my favourite train. You know, taking the sounds, the atmosphere, it do, it does help me as well mentally as well, which is good. Uh, which one is your best train operator company in the world? In the world, I don't know. I don't think I have one. I think any train operator with sprinters, I'm happy with. What is your worst station to film trains at? There's a few. Um, I think any any station with class 172 turbo stars. That's 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 one. Some worse than others. Uh, ships 172s go to Newport Scrapyard. Yes, because they're just the worst. It's like it's like that one member in the family. The 168 clubmans elegant the oldest then you got the then you got the middle child the 170s and the 171 and then there's that young child that just no 172 disgusting i mean they're not the best replacements for the 15153 sprinters yeah i don't like them. thanks arnold Questions are from G Loves Trains. So the first question is favourite station along the Seven Beach line? Seven Beach. You got that really nice cafe and then you got the beach. <laughs> so yeah. Seven Beach. What did you most enjoy about the Isle of Wight? Apart from the trains, both Heritage and the Island Line, um there's a really nice seaside trail, so if you you can walk it from Shanklin Station to Sandown uh, Pier and the Premier Inn. It's about three miles long, but on a sunset, it's really lovely. So it's definitely something to do when you get down there. What's the best thing about making YouTube videos? Um, I think it's about, I think it's you know you share your side of your travels. You get to share your journeys. Yeah, you get to share your travel on the trains. It keeps you motivated, and you get to learn how to improve videos in the future and just have fun. Also.
also helps the gaming channel as well. <laughs> Thanks, G. Right, so I've got to get the Euro tracks up for this one because next uh, questions are from James Glossop Travels. I hope James. Now he sent me nine questions, so there's quite a lot to get through. So let's get on with it. Uh, what is the one line you would happily ride on for the rest of your life? The Riviera line. Easy. What was it like to travel on Beloved after so long? Well, the second. No. The second I heard it's exhaust on a Facebook post, a Facebook group, um, I had to travel on it straight away. I just made a plan as if, yeah, let's get on her now. It was really fun. She sounds like a Deltic. It sounds very much like a Deltic, and it's beautiful. No wonder she's called Dreadnought. Uh, favourite bus to spot in Chef whilst in Sheffield? <laughs> it has to be that street light. That stagecoach street light with the heart sticker. The heart shaped pride sticker. That was brilliant. Now you've done the favour, what is the worst bus to spot in Sheffield? All of them. Oh, here comes my train. I'll do this one. What do you think about the release of Train Sim Ward 5 with the Class V 15 Pendolino? Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. Um, it looks promising. Right, here comes the Voyager. Give me a minute. Coach Voyager, that's not ram. What is this? Bedding, what's going on? Right, continuing on with uh, James Glossop's questions. So I'm on my train now. It's not completely rammed as well, this cross country Voyager. I don't know what they're playing at cross country, but this is a bit sus. Anyway, favourite brand new station that you have been to so far this year? I've not done a new station this year. Last year I've did plenty. Uh, well, not yet. <laughs> I am going to Ashley Down um, Monday, so the 30th September. But uh, that's the only one I've done. <laughs> well, I'm going to do it anyway. But if you're talking about last year, then Red and Green Park, because I got to do a station announcement, that was fun. It's on my uh, YouTube shorts list. Uh, what do you think of Cross Country's new livery and interior that they are upgrading to their trains? <clears throat> there are some words on this spreadsheet I can't say out loud because I'm on a public train. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it really. I mean, first of all, Alstom is doing the refurbishment, not Bombardier, because Bombardier went bust and got bought by Alstom. Second of all, you can't polish something that is rubbish, you know. Do you know what I mean? You can't polish track. I mean, they tried to do this with the 172s with the West Midlands Railway livery, and that was terrible. <laughs> I thought the London Midland livery was bad on the 172, but Jesus. Uh, would you ever consider doing a heritage bus rant? That's an interesting question. The problem is, is that I don't know where to go for heritage buses, like if there's opening days or, you know, museums. So I, I don't know, but it would be nice. Obviously, I'd have to get Ian Paul to help me with this. And then the final question from James. I know it's a while yet, but are you going to cover Birmingham Curzon Street when HS2 finally opens? Yes. <laughs> I will because it's a new light, even though that I don't agree with HS2, I think it's rubbish. But it's still a new line, so yeah. Thanks a lot, James, for your questions.
at Winchester now. We got a win at Winchester. I met that pun and I'm not sorry for it because it was a good pun. Because we got two, two we got two twenty double oh five. The only Voyager I will tolerate, as well as two two one double one oh one. Uh, 101 squadron because it looks good now it looks good in white white avanti coast gray looks good anyway the next set of questions 10 questions are from uh, his misguided lordship of uh, rusley ian paul's transport travels and he says why do i one seven twos I don't so I, I get why do you but then there's a word I can't understand and then there's one seven twos I think he meant why do I hate one seven twos because the build quality is bad they are the black sheep of the turbo star family right they were the wrong trains to replace the 150 with what did I say one five five I'll take it I mean, they retired the 153s from West Midlands. 364, my favourite 153, scrapped. The next train to leave platform two is thanks, thanks 172. Shut up and out with f Lord, man. Calling at Southampton right, Airport Parkway, where's the next question? Why Central, do you. Brockenhurst and Bournemouth. 150. Oh, why do I love 150s, he mentioned? Ah, because. They're the first trains that I've ever been on back in 2000. I grew up with them on the snow. Oh, 70, hang on. No, I've got to stop. Where was I? Oh yes, um, so yeah, the 150s, first trains I've ever been on, to back in 2000. I grew up with them on the Snow Hill line. They've taken me to all sorts of places. It's high school, work, interviews, holidays, family in Birmingham, and uh, outside Birmingham in the uh, Stratford-upon-Avon area. It's my cousins. Um, Best friends, first early train spots, train ventures, holidays, all sorts. So there is there's there's a connection there, and that's what I like about them. They also sound excellent with those old 1980s Cummins engines. Thanks, America. They're not British engines, but I mean I like them. So, um, why do you? Well, okay, this is a fair question. Why do I hate street decks? Because it's a bus. And buses are 99% <laughs> of buses are rubbish. The only buses I accept, and it's written down here. Uh, Dennis Dart, Trident, um, a Dennis Lance, or a Plaxton Verde, because Plaxton made them as well. Uh, yeah. Right, turn over the page. Right, next set of questions from Ian. Oh, I think, why do I MMCs? Why, why do I hate the MMCs? I don't like the MMCs because the seats are made of leather. And if you've got um, trousers with not very good traction on them, you're going to slide off the seats. Also, despite their, their width and size, there's not enough seats for some variants. Also, to damn f us. Do you mind for triple four zero one three? I want to fit. I'm trying to do a Q and A here. Goose Lord. <coughs> okay, uh, number five. You have one last ride with one fifty double oh one. Where are you going and why? 
in my head, the Snow Hill lines. In reality, somewhere in Yorkshire. <laughs> Aside from airports visited, where else are you looking forward to visiting aviation-wise? Uh, Manchester, Edinburgh, Glasgow. I've not done those yet. London City is another one, even though there's not much there. Um, but yeah, your favourite tube stock, uh, the District D78 stock. They're booted last day, were in Birmingham and it's just shut off. And then they're in you. But now Viva Rail well, put them to good use as well, which is nice. Favourite tube line, district line, because it's green. Uh, which of the new routes are you most looking forward to in Trains in World 5? Any with sprinters on it. Uh, same time in 50 episodes for more chaos where peace is never an option? Obviously. Obviously, yeah. Of course I'm gonna get, of course it's gonna be chaos in episode 100. But I don't know what to do for episode 100. Because that's, that's an absolute special one that is. Episode 50? Yeah, that's a, that's the half of So, so I missed the train. <laughs> oh well. But, uh, yeah. We'll have to wait and see for um, episode 50, episode 100, what it brings us. Anyway, thanks Ian. Jammy. So the next question is from Madeline, and Madeline asks, what are your favourite mem memories of train spotting? Uh, it has to be my first train spot, which was in Worcester, 2008. I did both Shrub Hill and Fourgate Street. We had all sorts of trains back then. We had Sprinters, 150s, 153s, 158s. We had 170 Turbo Stars. We had 180 Adelantes when they were with uh, First Great Western. We had HSTs, uh, cross country Turbo Stars as well. Um, unlike, and then there's, you know, so there was a lot of variety back then, which was better than today's um, collection of trains that you see at Worcester because you, you get all you get is 172s which are just uh, 196s which are better than 172s then you got the Hitachis which are all right but you know they're not they're not going to be as good as the HSTs um the only good trains we get now at Worcester are 158 still so oh yeah don't forget the 165 166 turbos as well Anyway, thank you, uh, Madeline. So, the next set of questions are from Ruben Ashwell. Hi Ruben. So, uh, is there a particular steam loco on a heritage railway that you have not not been on yet or you'd love to ride behind? Well, I've not been to the Keely, Keely and Worth Valley Railway or Watercress, um, Esk Valley, Clangollan, Great Central even. There is a Deltic that you can actually do driving experiences for at Great Central, but it's close to £600. <laughs> and they have 153s there, so hopefully one day we get to drive them. Uh, what is the bumpiest bus journey you've ever been on? Pretty much all bus services in Tewkesbury. It, it's it's Pothole Central. There's potholes everywhere. And the uh, also uneven road services as well. What is your favourite plane you've spotted so far, if any? Uh, Boeing 747, British Airways, Heathrow. Uh, this was in the 2000s. 
Thanks, Ruben. So we're now on the cross-country service, which is rammed, as you would imagine. And the next set of questions comes from Sarah with the trains. So, first question. You can only save one, trams or narrow gauge railways, which one would you choose? Both. <laughs> so yeah. Which type of passenger plane is the most, I have to, I have to pronounce this carefully, aesthetically pleasing and why? Um, 747, all the A380. Uh, casting aside any desire to annoy Ian, what are you talking about, Sarah? What kind of bus is your least favourite? I never annoy Ian. I look after my friend. You, you, you all know this. I do my. Apologies. Apologies for that interruption. I mean, I hate all buses. Except for the Dennis Trident Dart, the Plaxon Bird, and the Dennis Lance. Apart from them, everything else is rubbish. Uh, one of one of the counties you've visited on your journeys, which is your favourite? Uh, counties. Scotland, <laughs> even though it's an independent country, Scotland, the Fife, yeah, the Fife, confirm that you the Fife, yeah. Uh, you can only ride one London Underground line for the rest of your life, which would you choose? A district. If you were, if you were a bus, what type would you be and why? That is, that's a funny question. What type of bus would I be? I spoke to Ian about this and we both agreed that I would be a trident because it's loud and they're massive, <laughs> like me. Yeah, thanks Sarah. So for these set of questions from the next person, uh, I mean there's only one question but because we're back in uh, West Midlands in Longbridge, it's uh, quite fitting that we uh, get this uh, person's question done in the West Midlands and that guy's name is Shy Guy Promotions. Who is the most underrated train operating company? I mean, from an early age, I've always seen Chilton Railways as underrated. Because, I mean, they've had the Clubman since they were built, and the Turbo Stars, so 1997, 98, 2000s, and then the... Um, the things in 2012 no, 2010 sorry I, I, I don't i don't care when they were built the 172 i just i'm just more focused on the one and then obviously you know the local hall push and pull trains were introduced in 20 around 2010 2013 and then obviously there were 67s back then but yeah it's, it's a strange operator because they've had turbo stars since 97 local hall services since 2011 2012 2013 i'm not sure the line is completely unelect is not electrified and it runs from london to birmingham it i mean the midland main lines managed to you know make the line electrified as far as Corby for the Luton Airport Express, but that's it. Um, so it's about I've it. That's why it's underrated because it's not electrified. They have a fl just a fleet of turbos and clubmans, and a few local hauled um uh services as well from sixty eight Mark threes. And then, of course, there's the 165s, which I forgot to mention earlier. So they've had them for since 97 as well. 
So, yeah. Six uh, Chilton Railways. So, the next set of questions, now that I have him in person, in tr he's in trouble here. Look at him. It's Cyber Trace. Hello. Hello. You have questions for me for this Q&A, don't you? I have questions. Yes. Read the first one. Any plans to cause chaos at the Tidyway Metro? Yes. But I have to let them know in advance before before the uh, job before they said the jobs were there, I'll be on me. I thought you wanted to go. I thought you just go not in advance and just like cause chaos. That's probably what I'll do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next question? How would you plan a Tico venture on something like the Heart of Wales line where a lot of request stops? So you know when I did um, the Coxwold line? Yeah. You know I just got on, gone on and off at those four dodgy stations? Yeah. Basically do that. But at the stations where the trains... It's 66. Yes. But when, like, at um, Handover, or those stations that are not request stops and passing points. Yeah. I'll just get off at them and wait for the next one. So yeah. Just just do that, because it's easy, isn't it? It's easy but technically it's not the right way to I get I get off, yeah. I feet it on the platform, I take photo of the sign, therefore I am doing it properly. Well you do it the easy way. Yes. Because you can't do it with every line. That line is difficult. Yeah, you would have to have... I have to do the same for the north, the far north line as well, kind of out. Well, West Highland's fine. See, I know what I'm doing. What's the next one? Have you heard about the Santa Fe Class 3460 American Steam Locomotive, which is Big Baby Blue Goose? No, I have now. I, d I don't do any. I don't. I'm only. I only focus. I only focus on the railways and trains around the UK. I mean, there's a few in Europe that I know. Obviously, there's a few in America. Big Boy Pacific, and then there's Japan's bullet trains, Shinkansen, and, and Tokyo Metro and Shanghai uh, Maglev. But that's oh. about it. Hang on, he's, he's doing something here. Yeah, I'm getting a photo of him. He's, he's getting a photo of a blue goose. It's actually a YouTube video, but... It's a YouTube I won't video. That is, a, that is the bluest locomotive I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> and what's the fourth question that you got? Um, it's on the next page, is it? Yes. Oh, yes. Would you like to see another untitled Goose Game be made? Yes. Yes, I would. But hopefully, this time you can fly and you can attack people and hold weapons, knives, chase chase people around with a knife or an axe. Goose Lord, man. Yes. Goose Lord. Thanks, Simon. No worries. In front of you is my desk. Now, I would film this, um, and I chose for Tewksbury, but unfortunately the train got cancelled, so I had to make my way home on those damn buses from Cheltenham. But the last questions are from Thornaby37. So, are you planning to record the last months of the transport for Wales 150s now that they are being withdrawn? I've no idea. Um, next year is going to be fun. In terms of stuff outside of trains beyond my control, so life things I have to do. So I won't be going out as much. Uh, what is your favourite bus friends video that you've done? I don't have one really. I think that's um that's more of, that's more of a question for Ian. If I had to answer I would say any bus rants with Ian in person, like live bus rants. Uh, should the 175 transfer to Great Western Railway? They are being transferred. <laughs> well, it's been it's already been answered. They are going to um, they are going to uh, Great Western Railway. So as far as I'm aware, 
they will be staged, they'll be based at Lyra Depot in Plymouth. And they'll operate Penzance, Plymouth, Exeter services, as well as, well, I mean, um, Exeter to Oakhampton to Barnstable. I'm not sure on those, but I think what I think the uh, Exeter to Penzance, well, Plymouth to Exeter and Penzance makes more sense. But um, who knows? Maybe they will do extra bonds to port extra Oakhampton. We don't know. But what we do know is that they are going to GWR. And by July 2025, they'll be in service. So uh, there's a reason for visiting ex for uh, visiting Cornwall, G Love Trains. <laughs> you get to see your you get to see your bay again. But no, um Thanks for the question, Thornaby. And uh, that's pretty much it for uh, the QA special. Marking 50 episodes of the Train Venture series. The first episode was recorded and filmed on the 8th of September 2021. And episode 50 was filmed on the 18th of September 2024. <coughs> so roughly just over three years. And we've done a lot. <laughs> So we've done a lot in that time. Um, it's a bit surreal that we've reached 50 episodes. And yeah, I'm glad that, you know, people watch, people watch them. They like them. They share them. They leave a comment. And that's the, that's the important thing, really. It's not a competition. It's just... I share my ventures and, and, you know, as long as you enjoy them, that's the main thing. So for that, I am grateful. So thank you. Thank you for watching. And let's, uh, I'll, we'll see you in uh, the 100th train venture Q&A special. <laughs> so yeah, roll on 100. <laughs>